What's up y'all, Sparty here, and yes, this is another video with me downstairs in my living room, but, but uh, this video I want to make, I want to talk about uh, what Samsung needs to capitalize on next for me to be interested in the next phone, and I'm not talking about the S9, S9 Plus, I'm not going to be interested in those, I'm going to be interested in the Note 9. What I want to see Samsung capitalize on next is audio. I'm talking beyond putting a putting very good headphones in the box. Those are for what you get. Those are very good headphones. Those AKG tuned Samsung earbuds. Those are very good. What I'm talking about is doing what LG does, what HTC does. And that's have an audio experience beyond just being like, and sure they do have the sound alive and all that stuff, they do. But my thing is when the V10, a two-year-old phone at this point, Beats the Note 8 out in terms of clarity, and old and the amp is clearly louder in the um. Like it's louder on the Note 8, I can say that, but like you could turn up the volume all the way, and it'll and overall sound will be louder. But clarity is it the clarity on the V10, not the V20. The V10 is better than it is on the Note 8. And for you guys to buy Harman and not do anything like that, to do stuff like what LG did, did and do a quad DAC, not necessarily do that, because that's clearly LG's thing now, but at least capitalize on your, you know, your acquisition of Harman and do better audio. Other than just, you know, here's some nice earbuds in the box. Granted, they're doing way better than what Apple did when they acquired Beats. So, because when, when Apple acquired Beats, people assumed that Apple was just going to put, like, Beats earbuds in the box and stuff like that. Which they clearly didn't do when they just made earpods, which, love them or hate them. I personally, I'm indifferent. They're uncomfortable to me, so I just don't fuck with them. But at least Samsung is doing that. At least they're doing something with, and sure you say it's not Harman, it's AKG, but Harman owns AKG. <laughs> so <laughs> they are doing stuff with Harman. They are doing other stuff with, you know, AKG and Harman too, but... I want them to tune the audio experience to a T with the hardware in the next S series and Note series devices. Not to say to make, you know, their next earbuds not work with anything else, but to put some sort of hi-fi DAC in there that's not just dependent on the chipset that's within the phone. And I know you can say, oh, that's more proprietary stuff, but it's not. It's only tailored to that phone. The quad DAC that's in every LG phone, it doesn't just work with LG Buds. It doesn't just work with, or any like B&O Buds. It doesn't just work with LG's, you know, stock music app like it used to with the V10. They actually stopped that. <laughs> and I think they released an update where that's no, well, that's no longer a thing for the V10 too, so, as well, so... That's no longer something you got to worry about. It's some. It has something to do with them putting better hardware in there to even further the conversation that the headphone jack is obsolete. Now, sure, the headphone jack will eventually go away. It will. But my problem with this t removing it is that people think... Oh God, sorry for my hand in the way. 
people are thinking that just because the headphone people like LG and Samsung and it's not just them because people just think that just because Moto took it out that they took it out period they didn't take it out period because guess what the Moto Z2 Force the, the not the Force the Play still has a headphone jack the Moto X4 still has a headphone jack all the phones that really do matter for Moto which is the ones they still which are the ones that sell better than their flagships still have a headphone jack so the whole, everyone is doing it, so LG and Samsung need to do it too. Like, no. <laughs> Huawei still has a headphone jack. Still, hopefully, with the Mate 9 they do. Alcat Alcatel still has a headphone jack. ZTE still has a headphone jack. And sure, those are minor companies, sure. But just because the big players are doing it doesn't mean everybody needs to do it. And that's what I'm trying to say. People just think just because Apple and Google are doing it. First of all, Google isn't even a big player yet. They only made two phones. <laughs> well, technically four, but you know what I mean by two. Two generations of phones, okay? Apple was able to take out the headphone jack. Still have a lot of criticism, but still sell well because they're Apple, because the iPhone, because it's the iPhone, right? It's the first conventional smartphone. And when I mean conventional, I mean one without a keyboard, one non-Blackberry type smartphone is what I mean. Hell, Blackberry still has a headphone jack. <laughs> Which I know BlackBerry is technically not relevant either because they don't sell particularly well, but they're still here. And those come with earbuds in the box too. But when it comes to this, they need to further the conversation by showing that, and LG to an extent too, sure they have a quad DAC, but not every, not every, not every V30 comes equal in the sense that they all come with the hi-fi quad DAC. They all come with the quad DAC, they do. But they all don't come with the earbuds in the box. Well, sure, the argument can also be that, oh, you could just buy a pair of $20 earphones and you'll be good. Sure, or $10 earphones and you should be good. Earbuds and you should be good. Like, sure, fine, whatever, cool. You can do that. But the whole point behind my problem is what LG said in the press event for the V30 is every V30 will come with earphones in the box. High quality earphones in the box. The B&O headphones in the box, right? But the problem with that is the only one that seems to come with earphones in the box is the V30 Plus. For whatever reason. And that's for Sprint. And that's my issue, man. My issue is that you you say that, but not every V30 comes with earphones in the box. And sure, the headphone jack has been around for over 100 years now or 100 years now. So everyone obviously has headphones lying around somewhere, right? Sure. But the problem is, is that not every headphone is equal. The V20 and the V30 can drive cheap headphones and make them sound better, but they're not going to be as good as something like a pair of Shores or a pair of AKGs or a pair of Sennheisers, stuff like that. And I'm not talking about the like super expensive shit, expensive shit. I'm talking about maybe like 40 to $50 shit, which I know is still expensive for fucking headphones, but... I'm just saying. And another thing, OnePlus as well. <laughs> OnePlus. They make their own. They make their own earbuds. They make the bullet they make the bullet headphones. Why didn't those come with the OnePlus 5? Do they? I can't check right now. If you have a OnePlus 5, tell me. Uh do the does the OnePlus 5 come with the bullet headphones in the box? Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that, but then end up having to look, end up looking and see that they do come with it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna just say for this video that they don't. But if they do, let me know. <laughs>
I'm pretty sure they don't because I haven't heard anything about them coming in the box, but yeah. When BlackBerry comes out with a phone, but those come with headphones in the box, and BlackBerry isn't even doing anything interesting with audio, so so there it doesn't make sense to me for them to do that, and I'm just going to be yet another over 10-minute video, but... Uh, I'm not mad that the headphone jack is leaving. I'm mad at the fact that they're taking it out, but they're not making USB audio better in any sort of way. And when I say USB, I do mean lightning as well. So with USB-C audio, what do they do? They take out the headphone jack and they make some proprietary pinning inside the, you know, the adapter or the headphones that come in the box so you can't use them with any other USB-C phone or any device with USB-C, whether it be laptops or computers or anything like that, which I think is stupid. If you're trying to make a standard more of a standard, you shouldn't be doing any sort of proprietary pinning inside the adapter or the 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 port, the jack of the headphone. I'm going to just say jack for this case. Because it's just stupid. Apple used to do the same thing. They used to have four rings around. I think they still do. Because I remember when I did used to use, you know, ear pods or Apple's older headphones. I used to ha I had to use this Alcatel phone my first, like, month of working at Sears. And uh, I know a little bit of history. And that phone was trash. <laughs> and I couldn't even use, I couldn't even use ear pods. Ear pods or whatever, or even their original <laughs> headphones with Apple headphones with it, because they wouldn't even play. Th they would play through the speaker and not through the headphones. And I thought, oh, this phone is trash, but it wasn't the phone. It was the headphones because Apple decided to put one more ring around the fucking headphone jack port so it wouldn't even work. Which sucks. Um, and they ha they also have to make it more convenient. You know, people people bring up the thing of I can't charge my phone and listen to music at the same time. I personally don't do that, but I get what people are saying with that. There we go. Had to lower the exposure a bit. Uh, What am I trying to say? Sure, Bluetooth audio is also a thing. And I do support Bluetooth audio. But Bluetooth audio still crackles. Bluetooth audio still relies on something that will lose charge other than your phone. Bluetooth audio still relies on, you know, a decent connection and all that stuff. And Bluetooth 5 is nice. It's good on saving the battery of my Note 8. Like... I can tell you right now, Bluetooth 5 has been working miracles for me overnight. You know, six hours of continuous, you know, podcast listening. And I only really lose like maybe 10, 20% overnight. As compared to my V20 and my G6, where I would lose like maybe 35 or 40 overnight. And I don't even have to bring my charger with me, <laughs> which is a very fucking nice bonus, except for tonight. The only times I do is when I know I'm going donating. I do end up bringing my charger then, but that's because I like to watch Netflix or watch YouTube or whatever while I'm donating. Because that's just what I like to do. But yeah, that's it. Um... Let me know what you guys think of this. <coughs> if companies are going to push Bluetooth audio or USB audio, they need to make it not just better, at least equal. Not just better, but at least equal. And not make proprietary bullshit. Android doesn't even have USB-C audio <laughs> pushed in you know Android in the Android OS itself. So how are we gonna do this? 
How? <laughs> How Sony doesn't even push corded audio and they're like the king, one of the four kings, I guess, of audio of headphones. So who knows? Um, as I said, let me know what you guys think of this. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. I'm going to try and get some sleep because I'm getting fucking tired now. But yeah, have a good one.